Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk about the fallout from this Luis Ortiz-Alexander Flores fight. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, credibility is very important in boxing, right? You need real events that are not scripted, right? Where fans understand that they're seeing something in which both competitors are trying their best to win the fight. You have entire industries, the gambling industry, for example, that relies on the integrity of the sporting event. Now, you recently had a fight, and for legal reasons, let me just put it this way, right? I'm not saying in this video, I'm not, that anyone threw a fight, that any fight was scripted. But what I am saying, is that this fight has really bad optics for boxing. Very bad optics. Now let me just say, the film of the Luis Ortiz, Alexander Flores fight is in my favorites folder right now. Understand, Flores is being investigated because some are questioning his effort. Right, some are even questioning the authenticity of the ending of the fight. Here's what I saw. Now understand boxing a little bit. You had a fight last year. It was one of the best fights of the year. It was Naoa Inoue against Nanito Denier. And in that fight, and it's a pivotal moment in the fight, Inoue, who is one of the hardest punchers in the sport pound for pound, right? The list is not that long. He's one of the hardest punchers in the sport pound for pound. He hits Denier, who is putting up a heroic performance. Understand, going into the fight, Denier was the underdog, right? Inoue was the young lion. Inoue unbeaten at the time. And here is Denier exceeding expectations in the fight. The scorecards are close. Denier is putting on one of his best performances. And understand, Denier is a guy who's been a champion in the past, right? An argument can be made that Denier is a future Hall of Famer. So Denier, who has the heart of a lion, gets hit with a punch. Then he takes a few steps away from Inoue. And then he falls down, right? He hits the canvas. Well, folks... Such is the nature of getting hit. You get hit, you might not drop where you were hit. You might even think you're fine after getting hit. You might get hit, realize you were hit hard and say, well, I need to get out of this pocket, right? Take a few steps and then your legs go, right? Well, understand, if you look at the film, of the Luis Ortiz Alexander Flores fight. Ortiz does hit Flores twice in the body in the short time they fight. Very hard. These are very hard body shots. Very hard body shots. Now Flores continues to fight, but understand Flores may not have been 100%, right? If you're fighting a guy and he hits you the right way and you have a riveting pain in your side, understand, boxing's poker. You don't want to show any vulnerability. You might not even wince because you don't want the other guy to know that he's hurt you. So here... If you watch the full fight, and understand I have the full fight, you can watch it yourself in the favorites folder here on YouTube. If you watch the full fight, you're going to notice 
that Ortiz lands a couple of good shots, body shots, because Flores had fought before and been stopped on body shots before. So understand Ortiz's body-centric attack might actually have been by preparation, right? You feel a guy is weak in the body, guess what? That's where you're going to try to hurt him. Now, where the fight has, we'll call it, bad optics, it's really bad optics, is the knockdown, right? It looks like Ortiz grazes Flores. Doesn't look like he hits Flores flush at all. And Flores goes down. Right now, understand, had in a way against Anito Denier, chase Denier as he moves several steps away from in a way. And then had in a way thrown a follow up punch on Denier that grazed him, and Denier hit the canvas as he did off the earlier punch. Some might have said, hey, that last punch wasn't a big punch. How could this guy hit the canvas? Well, I believe what may have happened for anyone who's had a rib injury, let's give this the benefit of the doubt. Flores may have been hurt off the earlier body shot. So as he's on the ropes, Ortiz closes the distance, right? As Flores is on the ropes, and as Ortiz is throwing another body shot, it may not have been the last punch that drops Flores. Rather, it may have been Flores, with an injury off an earlier body shot, trying to move out the way and re-aggravating the earlier injury. I don't believe this tape necessarily shows anything untoward at the end of the fight. This could be a guy with a sore stomach who then is about to get hit in the stomach again as he moves the pain from the earlier shot gets the best of him. Now where the optics get really bad, and this is the worst part of the entire film, is when Flores gets off the canvas, right? Folks, the way he staggers, the way he moves, let's just say it, you know, he overdoes it a bit, in my opinion, right? Maybe he realized at that moment, wow, this injury to my stomach is major and I'm not going to survive the round. But let's just say his reaction when the ref steps in and is talking to him and he staggers a bit is a bit unfortunate, right? I believe this could be completely on the up and up, completely on the up and up. But it looked bad, especially the last moment, right? It's possible that as he's talking to the ref, he feels a twinge. I'm guessing authorities are going to have to examine him to see if he had torn cartilage, a rib injury, bruised ribs. That would be enough, in my opinion, to show that this fight was completely legitimate, right? If he doesn't have an injury that shows up in a hospital record or on an MRI, right? If there's no bruising, then I'll say that uh, the optics on this fight will be bad. Doesn't necessarily mean that everything wasn't on the up and up, but let's just say that the optics will make this fight a bad situation for all involved. Because as I've said, we need to be stewards for the sport. We need to protect the sport, right? We can't have fights where people feel they might have been 
not 100% done in good faith, right? Before anyone throws stones at this fight, I encourage them to look at the moment in the inner way, the Nair fight. And understand, it's a great performance by both men. Where Denier is hit, takes several steps, several steps, before falling to the canvas without being hit again. It happens in boxing, it's possible in this fight, that Flores is hurt. Luis Ortiz, who looks to be in great shape, comes over, ready to close the show. Ortiz was a huge favorite in the fight. Right, I couldn't imagine Ortiz being involved in anything untoward. Ortiz comes over, he's ready to close the show, and it's possible that Flores was already injured. Let me also say, too, a dirty secret in boxing. Fighters are rarely 100% healthy. Right, as Ray Robinson used to say, this is the hurt business. Right, you're there preparing for a fight by fighting sparring partners. Right? You're, you know, doing road work. You're running up and down hills. You're hitting, you know, speed bags. You're hitting, you know, punching bags. Some fighters come in a fight's a little bit sore. It's possible Flores came into this fight with some kind of undisclosed injury. I don't know. But the optics certainly aren't good for boxing. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.